A getting results update to a heartbreaking story. A widow's wedding rings are now replaced. It happened within 24 hours after we told you crooks stole her late husband's wedding band from their Lake County home. News 6's Nadine Giannis has more on how a jeweler is helping get results. I was here on Tuesday telling you about Holly Monts' story, about how thieves broke into her Lake County home here and stole her and her late husband's wedding bands. That story got on the radar of Jared Jewelers and within 24 hours got results. I will do whatever I can to replace or custom make your husband's ring. It was the little bit of good to end a year Holly Monts says has been terrible. First losing her husband Matt at just 35 years old to cancer in August. And then on Tuesday, told us how someone broke into her home and stole her and her late husband's wedding rings. He created the whole ring at Jared's. So this, he just put so much love and thought into this ring and it represented us, our marriage, our love, our family, and they took it. It wasn't long before the story got back to Jared's and by the next morning, Holly got a call. Jared's was replacing her rings. So it's gonna be the exact rings and it's going to be even a little more special because people were so sweet that they're going to replace it. So it just added more meaning to it. As for Matt's wedding band from Zales, Jared will work with them to custom make a new one. Whether it's a humongous story or just a small girl in the country who, you know, everybody gets robbed. But you took the time, you reached out to me and you made it public. Jared's releasing this statement afterwards. Thank you, Channel 6, for sharing your story about Mrs. Mons. When our teams at Jared and Zales learned about the loss of her husband and their rings, we wanted to do something special for her. We hope the new rings will bring Holly special memories for many years to come. So Jared says that they will have Holly's rings ready by next week. Holly says it gives her one more thing to be thankful for on what's going to be a tough Thanksgiving. In Lake County, Nadine Giannis, News 6.